my mind? Where is my mind? Where is my mind? Way out in the water, see it swimming. Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing the Pixies, Where Is My Mind? I was just <laughs> laughing at my own stupid singing. <laughs> so, um, before I get into it, as usual guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all your fantastic support, all your subscriptions and all your requests. I'm getting so many requests at the moment guys, and I wish I could do them all, I so do, but it's just a fact I only do a couple of week. So, you know, just keep your fingers crossed, but do keep the requests coming in. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, without further ado, let's zoom in and get straight into it. Okay, so if you're a complete beginner, yes, you've looked at this and you've gone, oh my gosh, it's bar chords. I'm gonna show you a super easy way to play it, okay? So the first chord you have to play, because it's E, normal E chord, you can do three down strokes there, okay? There's just, if you hear on the record, there's just a, there's just a quick up, okay? We're not gonna get fussy about the rhythm here. Then we play this C sharp minor. Then you do three downs there. So then we go to G sharp. So it's just, it looks like C sharp minor, but the second, the third, and the fourth finger. Just come over one string. Three down strokes there on the G sharp. So on the A, you can just do up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If I do it slowly. Okay, and finish on an up. He does this. He takes his fingers off here, so if I play it at normal speed. Da, 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 da. Okay, so very quickly to get that. It kind of sounds like a little bit of a slide on the record, but when you see him live, he kind of just takes his fingers off like that. So I'm leaving the bar down on the A. And he's just... When you do it slow, it doesn't sound that cool. But that's the technique he's using. So now if you can't do bar chords, you can do all in power chords. Leave the first chord the same, so E. Or you can just do the first two notes. Then power chord here. So it's gonna be C sharp five now, okay? G sharp A. E, C sharp. Okay, so any any time you see a bar chord, just take the first two notes from the tab or however you're learning it, and you can just play those notes. And that pretty much goes for any song you're learning across the board, okay? With a few exceptions, but in general, 
you'll get away with playing a power chord instead of a bar chord. It won't sound as good, obviously, but it's a good start if you're just training in the guitar, okay? So this intro, then that goes like through the verse, then he gets to, where is my mind? So the, the chords don't actually change for the verse and chorus. Apart from the last round in the chorus, where is my mind? So it goes around three times like that, okay? One, two, the third time you hear the electric guitar in the background. That's when you know it's the third time. And then on the fourth time, E, way out in the water. So it goes E to G sharp, then A, then A minor, then a quick stab over to C minor, C minor, and then you let it hang out. Then it kind of resolves on a B major. Okay, so just the chorus section. doing accenting it then E G sharp A A minor hang on C minor C sharp minor rather B major Actually, he does it like this. Okay, and that's just a down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And you're back into it. I was swimming in the Caribbean. Okay. So that's that section. Then we've got this... So all that is first finger on the fourth fret on the top E string, second finger on the fifth fret on the B string, the first and second string. Okay, and I'm just toggling between the B and E, the second and first. So that happens four times, okay? One, two, three, four. Then I flatten my first finger to cover just the fourth fret on the B and E. Then you do it twice, okay? You could put two fingers next to each other if you can't bar it with one finger. That's fine. So one, sorry, let's count again. One, two, three, four. One, two. Then he's got this, he's got this slide, so using your second finger on the B string, the second string, you slide from the fourth fret into the fifth fret. And when I'm plucking that slide, I'm plucking the top E as well. So I'm plucking the first and second string together, the B and E together. Okay. Then I'm going five, five, four, five on the B string. So you see, I put my first finger back behind my second. Sorry. Okay, so both together, and I'm plucking the fourth and sliding at the same time. So the whole thing. So slowly it'll be.
So then we've got the guitar solo, so it's a bit, you know, it's not the best on the acoustic. And then we're into it, right? So there's a little bit of improvisation going on there. I'm just playing the B minor pentatonic, okay? First finger, seventh fret on the B string, third finger, ninth fret on the G. Uh, I put my second finger behind my third as well, just to add strength on the bend. Now, because of the thickness of my strings, I can't really get the correct bend here. So I'm hitting the G and B at the same time and bending. Now, I'll do that three times, okay? Then I hit that B string on the seventh, and then the G string on the ninth, bent. Then I relax it and it goes back to normal position on the ninth, on the G, and I hit it again. So all together, right, slowly. One, two, three, B string, G string, bend back down, G string. Then we want the first finger to play the seventh fret on the G string. Okay, slowly. Then the ninth fret on the D, all together. Then the seventh fret on the G string. Ninth fret on the G. Seventh fret on the B. Tenth fret on the B. Slides to the 12th fret on the B. 10th fret on the top E. 12th fret on the top E. Tenth fret on the top E again. 12th fret and bend. and I keep on bending. And it wants to sound like the 14th, 12, until it sounds like the 14th. I use all three fingers to get the strength. Watch you don't break your strings. Okay, on the record you hear guitars layered over, all right, and that's the closest thing to it, all right? into it so there you have it guys hope you enjoyed this week's lesson please don't forget hit that subscribe button hit the bell button if you want to receive my weekly updates don't forget you can also find me over on instagram and send me any requests on facebook as well okay so i'll see you again the same time next week enjoy mm -hmm.